The U.S. deploying more military to Saudi Arabia in a show of force amid escalating tensions in the Middle East. Iran seizing a British oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz just one day after the U.S. took down an Iranian drone. Now, the president warning Iran against any more provocative action, alluding to the sanctions already crippling the country. Iran is in big trouble right now. Their economy is crashing. It's coming to a crash. They're trying to bring soldiers back home because they can't pay them. A lot of bad things are happening to them. And it's very easy to straighten out, or it's very easy for us to make it a lot worse. Lucas Tomlinson is live from the Pentagon with the very latest on this developing story. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Laura. It's the first time in 16 years the U.S. military has deployed forces to Saudi Arabia as tensions with Iran continue to escalate. The Pentagon made the announcement last night in a statement, quote, this movement of forces provides an additional deterrent and ensures our ability to defend our forces and interests in the region from emergent, credible threats. U.S. Central Command continually assesses force posture in the region and is working with Kingdom Saudi Arabia authorities to base U.S. assets at the appropriate locations. The statement did not mention Iran by name. Earlier today, Iranian state TV aired this video showing Islamic Revolutionary Guard forces wearing black ski masks, fast roping down a helicopter on the deck of the British oil tanker seized Friday night in the Strait of Hormuz. Iranian forces briefly detained another British tanker, but let the vessel proceed to the Persian Gulf. Last week, a Royal Navy warship blocked three Iranian gunboats from seizing another British tanker. Iran says its actions are retaliation for British commandos seizing their supertanker off Gibraltar two weeks ago. Authorities said it was carrying oil to Syria in violation of EU sanctions. There are currently 70,000 U.S. troops deployed to the Middle East. The hundreds going to Saudi Arabia are part of the reinforcements the Pentagon ordered to the region in May and will include a Patriot missile battery and more fighter jets. One day before Iran seized the British tanker, the USS Boxer, seen here, transited the Strait of Hormuz in a show of force and destroyed an Iranian drone using this new Marine Corps anti-drone jamming device strapped to the deck without firing a shot, a new addition to the U.S. arsenal. Iran denies the American warship downed its drone. Based on the latest information I received from Tehran, we have so far absolutely no information about losing a drone. It went down. And the fact that Foreign Minister Zarif either didn't know or lied about it, I can't account for. It, it happened. This latest provocation from Iran comes nearly a month to the day when Iranian forces shot down a U.S. drone over the Strait of Hormuz. Laura? All right, Lucas Tomlinson for us at the Pentagon. Thank you so much for that.